Well, tonight, Attorney General candidate Chris Kobach announces he's endorsing Derek Schmidt for governor. This comes after more Republicans are rallying around Kobach despite two major political defeats. Fox 43 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung, she looks into whether the strategy will work for the GOP this year or could it be a gift to the Democrats? When we first broke the news of Senator Roger Marshall's support for Kobach this week, now the attorney general candidate is getting behind Schmidt. But some political experts argue this could backfire after Kobach was already rejected twice by Kansas voters. Chris Kobach has been a big name in Kansas politics, first as a former Secretary of State, but also after losing two major political races. That includes a 2020 Senate primary. We left everything on the field. And losing to the state's Democratic governor in 2018. Now Kobach is looking for a comeback. He's racking up endorsements and rallying behind some major GOP figures. His latest shout out going to Republican candidate for governor, Derek Schmidt. There is a el little element of risk to it because you know, the Democrats actually want them to link. Uh, Kobach and Schmidt. Democrats have already tried to link Kobach to Schmidt, releasing political attacks and ads online. Members of the party say a unified Republican front could be a challenging strategy. Just considering um, Chris Kobach's track record um, of, of losing, you know, time and time again, of being rejected by Kansas voters. But it's still unclear how Kobach could impact the outcome of other high stakes races this year. It's still a bit of a gamble. Chris Kobach has a lot of supporters. Uh, in the Republican Party, but he's got detractors too. It's not a slam dunk strategy. Now, we also reached out to Schmidt's team about the endorsement from Kobach. A spokesperson says Kansans are rallying behind Schmidt, and they're also hoping to earn the votes of not just Republicans, but Kansans all across the political spectrum. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.